What's going on guys and welcome back to another analysis. So in today's analysis we're going to be making a new playlist of the Champions League playlist. So yeah, um, hope you guys are going to enjoy the rest of the Champions League playlist which I see Manchester United doing really well in uh, as it's as we are back into the Champions League now. So if you guys are still not subscribed to my channel, go down below. It will take you two seconds to go subscribe to my channel. We're on the road to 150 by the end of this year. And um, yeah, obviously if you can do that before December, I will definitely increase that a bit. And um, yeah, let's crack on with today's video. So in today's video, I'm doing the analysis of United's last game that was played last night against FC Basel or Basel or whatever you want to call it really. So let's talk about the game. So we made six changes to the squad. Let's talk about the squad. Uh, now it was actually, I didn't expect a, a load of changes to be done to the team, but it was that uh, there were six uh, changes to the squad. The one that every uh, that got everyone was Ashley Young playing in for Valencia, which we all didn't expect. Um, so yeah. Um, a couple of games going on again tonight. Um, so, yeah, talking about our starting at uh, 11. Uh, so, as we all know, De Gea started. And then this is where it all, uh, where the te team all changed. Uh, Young, Lindelof, uh, Smalling, Blind, Pogba, Matic, Mata, Mkhitaryan, Martial and Lukaku. Now, um... I was actually surprised that Young actually came into the squad. Uh, we didn't, no one expected him to come in really. We probably all thought Valencia was going to come in, but obviously just rested Valencia as we've got Everton on Sunday night. Uh, sun, yeah, Sunday. Well, Sunday night for us, yeah. Uh, Lindelof, because um, I, I saw that he was going to be amongst the lineup, but I didn't expect him to start. So. At least he's got his first clean sheet. And um, I think he played really well, to be fair, Lindelof. And um, that he came in to replace Bailey, I would say. Or Jones. Jones. I would say Jones. And then Smalling came in for Bailey. Smalling did a pretty good job as well. And Blind came in for Damien. Damien was sat on the bench. Um, Herrera actually started in the last game. So... He, yeah, he he took he brought off Herrera for Mata, and he brought off uh, Rashford for me uh, for Martial. So once again, he's playing Martial, but I don't think he's said I don't think he's said anything to Martial like, oh yeah, you're gonna be starting. I think that's just because uh, he's just trying to rest some of the players uh, for the Everton game, and then as we all know, Lukaku. Scott, uh, Lukaku also started. It's his first step. It's his first start as well for the Champions League. So obviously, when he was at Everton, um, he didn't get to uh, to get to to get to be in the Champions League. But obviously now he's at Manchester United. He won. He said he wants to win trophies. So I'm guessing he's he's come to the right club really. So yeah. Um, well, let's talk about the first half. We had such a great start. I think we we ha we needed to have a good start. We had a quick start. The moving the ball was quick. Uh, I've got to admit, the movement was quick. The movement was very quick, and obviously, the chance to get the passing moving going. Um, we were getting the uh, yeah we were, we were getting the ball upfield, trying to get the pressure onto them, try get the first goal as well, and. Um, we played really well. We were put, we were putting on the pressure a lot. We were we were dominant in the first half. We were in control, um, and uh, we kept we kept on uh, creating chances. Uh, the the passing, yeah, like I was saying, the passing was really quick as well. Uh, you can't admit uh, we did. We had a good start. I gotta admit we had a very good start into the first half, um, even though. Uh, we got we had a few chances at goal with Mkhitaryan. Um two good chances at goal, but he but he both bottled them. One went over the bar, and uh, one that should have 
one should have been a must goal really because it hit the post and um, it came back to him and then uh, they were saying that um, at, at the time that he was more interested he was more interested of thinking of what he was going to celebrate so he missed hit the ball well not missed hit it but I think it came, the ball as he hit the ball it came out of his toe so and the, and he was more interested of what to celebrate so yeah um it happens so and uh yeah i was the it was a big blow for united for the first was it 19 20 minutes of the game i don't know when uh, uh Pogba came off but it was a big blow Pogba is looked like he had a hamstring but we have to can we see him play against everton we all don't know uh, because um, it 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 did look that it did it did look a bit bad because uh, when you're injured at Old Trafford they go straight down to the the tu to the tunnel so we know it's not a good sign um, so yeah uh, we're gonna hear from that tonight uh, as I'm recording this it's like the morning of the next day so yeah we don't know what's gonna happen with Pogba can we see him again play Everton. Maybe not. If it's a bit, if it's a bit serious, then he might take a bit of time off. Um, and obviously, I think he, I think maybe he shouldn't have played the game as he played the game against Stoke. So obviously, he didn't. Uh, uh, well, I don't think it was uh, Mourinho's, but obviously, he asked Pogba if he wanted to play, and Pogba said, "Yes, I'll play." But anyway. Moving on, we had a replacement for him. So Fellaini comes on for United just to replace Pogba. Um, Pog, uh, Fellaini knew what was going on anyway because he could see how he wanted to play in, at the first half. He needed to get off with a good start, which we did. Um, we have to talk about that goal. Um, so as you could see, we won three goals to nil, which I was really happy about. The first goal was by Fellaini. It was a great header. Um, Great assist from Young. It, he bent it round the defender and a nice finish on the head, which leaves us 1 0 up to half time, really. So you couldn't complain. It was a good, great first half by United. We wanted a good start. We got the good start. We got our heads in front and uh, we, we, we just got what uh, we came out really. We, the first half, it was just great, you know. We wanted to get off with a great start. We were. Moving the ball quick and getting that movement quick as well, and you could see there's there was a comparison from that game against Stoke as well, and uh, yeah, I think we can do a lot. I think, and as we've won this game as well, this is going to give us a lot of confidence going against Everton because Everton don't even have a game in the Europa League and they're not even in the Europa League, so. This is going to really give us confidence going against Everton, and Everton have Everton have no confidence going into this going against us in the next game. Nothing whatsoever, really. So, yeah. Right, guys. Now, as you can see, I've got my hair haircut today. So, yeah, that that was a job that I had to do today. So, um, I'm just editing the video right now, and I basically said that Everton are not playing in the game and they're not in the Europa League. Now, backing on that, I did a massive mistake. Because I thought they weren't in the Europa League uh, at first. But then I saw that they were travelling to Italy. Uh, so I did a massive mistake. They're playing actually Atlanta in the Europa League uh, tomorrow night, which is Thursday. But as this goes up, as you guys see this, it'll be tonight for you guys. But uh, yeah, um, so I made a massive mistake. But we just have to see how Everton uh, play the game and if they win it, fair enough. And uh, it's going to be a tough game, but we'll have to see how it goes. But anyway, until now, back into it. Um, talking about the second half, we had a bit of a shaky few minutes in the second half, uh, as they had the ball and had and they uh, had a couple of chances at goal early. Uh, but then after that, we found our rhythm afterwards. Let's talk about our second goal. It was a great goal, an assist. Um, from Blind, uh, you've got to say you're gonna to have to take off your hat. So, really, our right back and the left back did really well in the game. Um, yeah, great, uh, great header once again, and 
and it was uh, Lukaku this time. As we all know, I've got him on the back of the shirt. Here we go. Romelu Lukaku scored the second goal for Manchester United. That's right, guys. Uh, I don't know how many. I don't know how many goals he's scored right now, but he is enjoying life with Manchester United. So yeah, you can't complain. Two great crosses, two great headers, and um, yeah. Uh, so however you say it, Basil or Basil had a few chances at goal, but we got away with it with some great saves by De Gea, which which we did. Um, we nearly. Lindelof nearly gave away a penalty, which we got away with massively. Because if the guy went on the floor, it would have been the penalty would have been awarded, really. But the 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 guy managed to stay up on his feet, and uh, yeah, and he's already gone and and Lindelof has already gone and give a, a penalty away when it was the Super Cup as well. I think it was the Super Cup, and um, yeah, we've we've been uh, unbeatable recently, so. Yeah, if we keep up with this good form, we just got to keep at it, and I think we can do really well this season, you know. And then, um, yeah, we brought on a couple of subs. We brought on Rashford and Lingard. Rashford gave us more width and more attacking role, and and uh, yeah, uh, we did. Then he, I think Rashford, he was he came on the on the on the left for Martial, and then Lingard went over to the right. So yeah, um, and then I, from there I thought United weren't going to get any more goals. Basil or Basil, however you say, had a few more chances at goal, but they weren't clinical at goal whatsoever. So they had a few chances, but um, they just weren't all on target as the, at the same time. Um, so yeah, our subs came on right at the right time and caused a lot of trouble uh, for. Basil or Basil, however you want to say them. So our third goal was scored by Rashford. It came off the bench. Great, great cross from Fellaini and assist. Now there was actually, actually a Fellaini and Mkhitaryan was, uh, basically Fellaini just kept in the ball, um, and then I wasn't sure if it kept it, if it touched, but if it got a touch by Mkhitaryan or not. It, it more looked like. Fellaini got the last touch, but if Mkhitaryan did, then I don't know. Um, I don't know if he touched the ball or not, but anyway, I'm just going to give it a Fellaini assist, really. Um, it was a great goal, just to wind off, just to put it together, really. Uh, we played really well. You can't complain. We played our own game. We stuck as a team together. Uh, once we were 3-0, we were comfortable with it. Um... As in Jose Mourinho's interview, he did say there's still room for improvement, which there is. Uh, we can do a lot better um, going against Everton. Take the positives going into the uh, into the next game and work on the negatives, really, what we didn't do so well in the game. And um, we got the job done. We got, uh, we got the job done. It was 3-0, uh, three points, a clean sheet. And uh, we're at the top of the table, and you can't complain really. It's what you want, and uh, we uh, we have the co like I was saying, we've got the confidence now going against Everton on Sunday. Everton have no confidence whatsoever going against us, um, but I do have a I do have a uh, an issue that I think um, Rooney might score against us. But if he's not that good enough, then I don't think he'll score against us. But I see that Lukaku's going to score against Everton for sure. Um, so, yeah, uh, that's all for me. Um, we had a great game, and uh, you can't complain, really. So, yeah, um, we go again and uh, against Everton. Uh, we, we see how we play against Everton. Last year, we drew. We can't draw. We've got to have to start getting back to winning ways now. And um, after that win uh, the other night, I think we can go and go and beat Everton now. And um, this is the time to get right back at it now and just go again, really, after that disappointing draw against Stoke. So yeah, hope you guys have enjoyed today's video. If you're still not if you're still not subscribed to my channel, go subscribe. It's worth it. Uh, as we're on the road to 150 subs by the end of this year. 
And uh, yeah, and I'll see you guys in a new video, hopefully next week, with a new analysis with Everton. See you guys then, and I'll see you guys, and I hope you're going to have a, a great, and uh, I hope you guys are going to have a great week ahead. And uh, yeah, speak to you guys in a bit, and peace.